Welcome back to our historical series where we delve deep into captivating events that shaped nations and altered the course of history. Today, we have an extraordinary chapter to explore, the Battle of Isandlwana. What is the Battle of Isandlwana and where did it take place? Join me as we unravel the intriguing events, legendary warriors, and dramatic circumstances surrounding this big clash. Welcome back to our Bantu History series. In case you are new here, make sure you support us by hitting that subscribe button to receive our future videos. The Battle of Isandlwana, which took place on January 22nd, 1879, was a defining moment in the Anglo-Zulu War. This conflict emerged when the British Empire sought to expand its influence over the Zulu Kingdom in present-day South Africa. The Zulus, under King Setshwayo, fiercely resisted the encroachment of the British forces, leading to a violent collision at the aptly named Isandlwana. To understand the significance of the battle, we must first explore the remarkable warrior culture of the Zulu Kingdom. The Zulus were renowned for their fearless combat skills, strategic mastery, and unwavering loyalty. Their military system was exceptional, based on the skillful combination of long and short spears, a deadly array of shields, and remarkable maneuverability on the battlefield. The Zulu warriors held their traditions and King Tsechwayo's commands in the highest regard, making them a formidable adversary. In contrast, the British Empire boasted an impressive military arsenal, continuing their relentless expansion across the globe. Armed with rifled muskets, artillery and cavalry, the British forces at Isandlwana viewed themselves as invincible. However, their knowledge of Zulu tactics and underestimation of their enemy blinded them to the imminent danger that lay ahead. On the fateful morning of January 22, 1879, over 20,000 Zulu warriors descended upon the British encampment at Isandlwana. The British commander, Lieutenant Colonel Henry Pauline, failed to adequately fortify his position, leaving his 1,700 soldiers vulnerable to the overwhelming Zulu force. As the battle commenced, the Zulus launched a devastating assault, encircling and overwhelming the British troops with fierce determination. Central to the Zulu battle strategy was the horns of the buffalo formation, where two Zulu wings would encircle the enemy while the chest advanced relentlessly. This formation facilitated their envelopment of the British forces, rendering their superior firepower ineffective. With disciplined formations, agile maneuvers and a fierce determination to protect their land, the Zulus unleashed a shockwave that shook the confidence of the British Empire. As the battle intensified, the British soldiers fought valiantly, but the Zulus' superior tactics and numbers overwhelmed them. The British lines were breached and chaos ensued throughout the camp. Despite individual acts of valor, the British were ultimately outmatched, enduring heavy casualties and ultimately facing a devastating defeat. The Battle of Isandlwana left an indelible mark on the British Empire, tarnishing their invincibility and leaving them shocked and grief-stricken. The Battle of Isandlwana marked a turning point in the Anglo-Zulu War. While the British ultimately went on to secure victory, it was at Isandlwana that they paid a heavy price for their underestimation and excessive pride. This clash sparked shockwaves across Europe, leading to introspection and a revisiting of British military strategies. The Zulu Kingdom, even in defeat, gained immense respect for their exceptional warrior culture and tactics. It remains a testament to the power of determination, strategy and the indomitable human spirit. As we close this chapter of history, the Battle of Isandlwana serves as a timeless reminder of the interplay between military might, cultural context, and the consequences of underestimating one's adversary. It is a tale that highlights the resilience and courage of both the Zulu warriors and the British soldiers who fought valiantly. That is all we had for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.